A preset is a great way to achieve consistency in your images, but you still need to look at each image individually and edit it with some tweaks. Here I'm going to show you some tips and tricks I use in Lightroom. Okay, so here we have two images that are already edited with the preset. This is the feeling and mood we're going for. Something I'd like to mention, and I think it's important to remember, is that presets are a great way to keep a consistent creative style in your images, but you need to pay attention to each image individually and edit them separately. You'll see that each image can really look different from one another. With this in mind, let's take a look at editing two images with our preset. So I'm going to select them and import them into Lightroom. Okay, click Import. And now we're going to go to the Develop tab. Now what we're going to do is add our preset. And for this, I just have to click this little cross here, Import Presets, and I'm going to the folder where my preset is. So we have it here. At a first sight, it may not look anything special, but if we apply our preset, it already gives a nice mood to it and it's pretty bright. So what do I want to change in this image? I think it's a little bit too yellowish or too golden for my taste. So the first thing I want to do is to change the temperature. And I'm going to go for a lower temperature level to make it colder. And what I'm seeing here is that the skies are a little bit too saturated. So I'm going to go over to the hue, saturation and lightness tool. I'm going to select all. And now for blue, in the saturation part, I wanted to bring it down a tiny bit. And something that I'm noticing in this image is that I want the blue to stand out from the green, so I'm going to bring the greens down a little bit as well. So over to the HSL tool again, and with the green, we're just going to bring the saturation down almost to a limit where it looks a little bit muted. Let's just take a look at the before and after. The last thing I want to do is maybe I'm going to add a little bit of saturation in the oranges as well and a little bit on the yellows because something I really like to have in my images is both a muted tone and some vibrant colors coming into the same image. I'm pretty pleased with this image, so let's go to the next one. In this image, you can see there's an interplay between light and shadow that's really strong, and that's something I want to soften, but let's look at how it looks with the preset. To me, this is a little bit too saturated, a little bit too vivid, so we're going to play with saturation again. At first, we're going to the basics tab over here and add a little bit of exposure. Exposure basically adds brightness to your image. Then I'm going to bring the shadows up a bit. This is already looking a little bit less strong. We're keeping the contrast a little bit more balanced in that way. I also want to bring contrast a little bit down, so to flatten the contrast between colors and elements in the image. So now I want to bring the saturation down in the overall image, and I actually like using Vibrance to give a more subtle uh, saturation to the colors. And now I think I washed the yellows out a little bit too much, but I can go to the HSL tool again, which is really my favorite in Lightroom. Okay, so now I'm going to add a little bit of saturation in the yellows. And something I like to do is to bring certain colors closer to each other. So what I'm going to do is actually change the hue of the red of this man's shirt to bring it closer to yellow, so maybe a little bit orange. And this already makes it feel more harmonious. The last thing I want to change is the lightness of the blue, so the luminance. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit so this pattern here can appear a little bit more clearly. Let's look at the before and after. You can see from here that the shadows and lights were brought closer together. The colors are still very present. We're working mostly with yellow and blue, and this is much more closer to my own creative style. Two main colors playing together, and then just details of colors in smaller elements. 
So the last thing I want to do is actually compare the two images that we just edited. And for that, I'm going to go to the reference view. This places our active image on one side and I can drag and drop the other one to the reference panel. Let's uh, revert this actually and make the reference image the one that was on the right and the active image this one. And you can see they're a little bit different because they're taken in such different conditions and colors. What can I do to make them look a little bit more closer in terms of style? Something I can do is make the greens on this picture a little bit more yellow and saturated. Okay, back to the hue, saturation and luminance. Let me change the hue of the green to something a little bit more yellow. Now I need to add some saturation so it doesn't look like the flowers are too dry. And now I can even go to the yellow hue and make it a little bit more orange or green. In this case, I actually think I want green and maybe go back to the blue saturation and just add a little bit more and the luminance. Maybe I'll also want to bring the contrast down a bit and the shadows a bit up and work with vibrance. So of course these two images are very different between themselves, but they're both very bright, colorful, and just have a, a playful look that comes from subject and the interplay of color. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and you can start using presets to create a consistent style in your images. Be sure to follow Domestica on social media. If you want to learn more about color in photography, please check out my online course in Domestica.